Okay. I have my final verdict about the Ilya Foundation Concealer Complexion Stick. There are five things I want to talk about before you buy. Watch this honest review. No one's paying me to say the following. So let's dive into the review. Here we go. All right, I have shade Sycamore. I also had Tupelo. They're very close. Tupelo runs a little bit more of a yellow undertone. This is why I liked the Sycamore. I don't need that yellow undertone with my skin. This is $48. We're gonna look at these five things in particular. We're starting with ingredients. There were a lot of things to talk about with ingredients. All of that will be on the scorecard. Everything that I talk about will be linked. They have a lot of marketing claims in here, so I'm gonna start removing what I currently have on. I do not have a lot of makeup on because I wanted to also talk and apply as well. There are a lot of shades here, which is great. In ingredients world, they have this one sentence on there that says, the fountain of youth in a foundation stick. It's 2024. I just, I'm, this is the cynical marketer in me moving on. Here's in a nutshell what you're gonna wanna know about the ingredients. I am not a cosmetic chemist. I've never claimed to be a cosmetic chemist. I've just tried too many makeup products in my lifetime. I'm always looking for transparency. There are a lot of polymers and a lot of synthetics in here. I'm not against synthetics but I usually don't see the polymers high up on the list like I did with this product. I don't know if that's gonna be a bad thing. My gut tells me my skin, which is sensitive, is not going to love this over time. I, that's just a gut call. Just because I'm saying that doesn't mean it's gonna happen for you. If you are not into having polymers up front in your foundation formulas, like high up on that list, which usually not always means that there's a higher amount of that ingredient in the product. You are not gonna like this product. <laughs> Move along. I've reviewed so many other foundation sticks that have way different ingredient profiles. I'll put a link to the roundup that I just posted so you can check those out. This does claim to be a concealer stick, so might as well just take it all off, girl. This is a, this is a family channel, okay? It does not have alcohols, fragrances, silicones, or sulfates. I like not seeing silicones in there also because personally my skin doesn't like them. The skincare that they talk about is also towards the bottom of the list, which sometimes that's okay. You don't want a ton of a skincare, like vitamin C, maybe that could irritate your skin, so there's probably potentially a reason. Again, not a cosmetic chemist, but I'm seeing a lot of them at the bottom, so if you're claiming this to be the fountain of youth and a foundation stick. It is hard to say that with a straight face. It's just something to look at. You know, it's kind of, it's kind of making me go, huh, hmm, hmm. Vegan, cruelty-free, non-comedogenic, which I did speak to a cosmetic chemist and she was telling me that that's an antiquated scale. So can't rely on that. A little frustrating. Don't know if that's the case. That's just one person's opinion. They also said it's recyclable and they work with Pact Collective. I wanna to talk to some people at Pact Collective and just learn a little bit more. They do have PET and PP, it's not urine, plastic, which are more likely to be recycled. I think recycling is just really tricky. They do tell you how to clean it, I appreciate that. This is the Say Sun Visor, but I don't know if it's gonna be recyclable on everybody's curbside, I doubt it. Let's move on. Application, this is supposed to be a weightless formula that melts into skin. There is this little notch on this container. It does make it easier to hold. It's very easy to work with. So I'm using the Ficlo Teddy Brush here. It is a softer packed brush and I'm applying the brush to the foundation stick. If you watch the roundup, you're gonna notice I put a drop of face oil. It's usually jojoba oil on these before I apply. If you have problems with foundation sticks and you're new here, sometimes that dense of a formula just doesn't sit right on my skin. So adding that little drop of oil along with skin prep seems to really help. So I'm just taking a very light hand here. I'm not buffing it in. It is absolutely weightless. This goes on and whoo, that's how it feels, but I don't feel it. It's putting all the others to shame is what I'm trying to say. That doesn't mean it's gonna get a stellar score or that it's gonna be my favorite. If you have oily skin, I think this is gonna be okay as well. If you've already bought this and you like it or don't like it, let me know what you think in the comments and share your skin type as well for context. I think that'll be really helpful to everyone over here. I'm gonna turn the lights down so you can just see a little bit better. You know what I realized too? The One of the lights that I use when I'm applying, I look into this mirror, it has several light levels. I must have dinged it and it was on the higher level and that's why it was hard to see in the last video what was going on, so sorry about that. Human error. 
it happens. She's a human, mostly. So it's stretchy. It blends in and melts in really, really nicely, really quickly. This is just the side-by-side -side comparison. You can see skin doing skin things. In my opinion, you're getting a really nice medium coverage here. But if I wanted to build it, it starts to suffer a little bit with texture on the skin. That's very, very normal, but it's very minimal. So overall for application, five out of five. Coverage, I already touched on this. Buildable medium coverage is the claim. So I'm just gonna pop it on this side. It built nicely. It didn't move around whenever I was trying to apply more of it. It wasn't heavy. It didn't make my skin look shiny. It just did a great job. Like the nose can be tricky. It starts to look like I'm wearing makeup in natural light. Coverage received a five out of five. I think it did a phenomenal job on following through on those claims. Finish, it's supposed to blur pores, redness and texture with a natural matte finish. Again, it's hitting everything on that list, except I'm not seeing technically blurring pores, not settling into pores though. There, I just press it under that eye, so it's a nice light concealing. Unlike the Westman Atelier for me, when I applied that, even when I lightly buffed that onto my skin, it looked like I had deeper pores than I do. So if you're really not wanting that, I mean, that's a heavier, denser product. It can work wonders on some skin types. Just for me, it was not great for pore blurring. The matte finish is absolutely happening here. I can barely feel it. It's really winning me over and I don't know why I'm resisting. <laughs> like stop resisting, give in to the winning over. Four out of five for finish because it's pretty great. It's pretty great. I'm gonna keep putting makeup on and finish this thing up. Wear test. Long wearing is the claim. It's supposed to wear for at least 12 hours. I've honestly never made it 12 hours because I wash my face usually after the gym, which I do later in the afternoon, so. Come on, bronzer. This is the Jones Road Gel Bronzer. And then there's a skincare claim here, so anti-aging, pro-aging well ingredients help firm, smooth, and soften the appearance of lines and wrinkles. Am I gonna rely on this foundation stick to get it? Say it with me. No, <laughs> if, you're, if you're a subscriber, then you know I, no, it's just a no. Did I see a uh, smoothing of fine lines? No. I can still see fine lines. So see, that just added some shine and you can tell that it was more on the matte side. In all fairness, I would have to try this every day for six weeks to really tell you an honest answer. I'm leaning towards no. But in fairness, I cannot say that accurately. What I will tell you is my personal preference. I'm never going to get a foundation stick and think that it's going to substitute really good skincare ever. I mean, never say never, but that's probably, I'm 99.999% sure. Wear test for 12 hours. This is where it lost me a little bit as well. I saw gathering here, just right around these folds, which I think is, I, my skin's been a little off lately, so I think part of it's attributed to that. Some people that I've spoken with after the other testing video that I did, they said that it gets really dry by the end of the day. So I think I'm hearing really opposite experiences with this one because this did not feel super dry at the end of the day for me. It stayed pretty flexible, but the only thing that really changed was a little bit of dryness here. That might also just be the prep that I'm putting on underneath. Maybe I'm not adding powder on top. I don't know. I didn't have a bad wear test, but it wasn't the best wear test. So overall for that, it got a three out of five because it didn't necessarily hit with the anti-aging. I really, I hate air quote city here. It didn't really hit with those benefits, but it also didn't wear as nicely as I would want it to. And then underneath the eye, since it is a full complexion stick and concealer stick, I saw a little bit of creasing, not much under the eye, but I also want more brightening, so I would go with a different concealer. This is the OG Rose Quartz face stick. I love, love the shade. I love the shade. Now, some of you might have already clicked off after three minutes, and that's sad for you because, well, the final score is 17 out of 20. But, and as I apply this Soch Lip Silk in shade with love, I say this to you with love, an absolute honesty. I really liked this foundation slash complexion stick, whatever you wanna call it, multi-stick. I'm not reaching for it every day. It's good in a pinch, but 
Truth be told, I want you to look at this coverage and then I'm gonna show you what I've been doing lately, which just feels like it's working better. Here we go. Surprise at the end, didn't see that coming, did ya? I know, me either, honestly, I didn't. So now I just put all that on, I'm gonna take it all off. When I rub my face, it gets a little pink. People get scared. It's okay, it's okay. We're gonna be okay. I've also just fussed with it a lot in the last few minutes. Do you need to spend $48? You can subscribe and get it for 43, which I think is phenomenal. You tell me, here's where I live right now. This is the world I'm living in, so I love my Stay Sun Visor and my Slip Tint. I always have, no one's paid me to say that. So this goes on, I normally do brows, whatever else. I let this sort of have a minute to sink in. And then I am picking up a concealer, all right? This is my complexion stick lately. It is a concealer, yes, and it is also face coverage. And this is not news, I get it. I didn't love the Tower 28, but I'm leaning on it quite a bit more now. And then the Iris and Romeo is one of my absolute all-time favorites under the eye. We'll do Tower 28 for the purpose of this video. This is a thinner formula, so it's not like the House Labs, which is thicker, more dense. Although I think that could work too, it just depends. That has a lot of silicones in it. So, you know, I'll just do a little bit here, painting my face, whatever. Get rid of that redness, wherever else I want to spot touch up around the nose. And then we just take our same breath, cause this looks fun. And we basically do the same thing. And do you have to have the Tower 28? Not really. But something that's thinner is where I'm getting. You know what I mean? A little bit thinner. This gives a little bit more glow. You might like that, you might not like that. The other reason I use this type of concealer is frankly because I'm impatient and I don't wanna sit there with a pot and then press it in. I'm gonna review the neutralizer pencil from Jones Road next. I was impressed. I was also sort of like, hmm. That was a lot of pressing, that Jones Road neutralizer pencil. So it just has me wanting to not do that, <laughs> not spend my time just Pressing, pressing, and that's just me. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if you're the same way or not. So do we remember what my cheeks just looked like? What do you think? I'm not talking about color. I'm talking about full coverage here. Finish is very similar. It's pretty flawless. It melted into skin. Do other products go on top of it? Let's just redo, shall we? It's like deja vu. Yeah, they do. Do you need the foundation stick? Listen, I don't know if you need any of this stuff, but if you were considering buying that and you're on the fence, this might have convinced you to get it. It's a great product. It performs really well if you like that ingredient makeup. Just keep in mind that some people have had pretty negative wear tests. So please, again, leave information in the comments if you've had that and what kind of skin you have so people can kind of gauge whether or not they think it'll work for them. I would encourage you to play with your concealers because your concealers are just nicely concentrated little tubes. Less is more there and you get really nice coverage. And yes, every formula is gonna perform differently, wear a little bit differently. If you're looking for full coverage, the stick is gonna be a cool option for you. Even something that you can build up really, really nicely and get more of a mattifying high coverage look. Maybe more medium, not high. I'm all about options and I'm all about using what you have and the less is more approach. So. For those of you that stuck around, you got a little, I don't know, I don't know if I would call this the tip, what, what would you guys call it? I don't even know. You got a little bit of like, here's what I'm actually doing in my life with my skin. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found this helpful. There is more information that's gonna be live on the site really, really soon. I have my pros and my cons. Other foundation sticks that you can check out there. And 17 out of 20, it's positive. It's not like it's negative. It just might not be for me going forward. TBD. Right now it's not on any favorites lists for me. You see, like it's just doing its thing, this stuff. And I could use Iris and Romeo to do the same thing. It would be a little bit more opaque options. If you found this helpful and you like honest reviews and you want to keep seeing them, don't forget to hit that like button. It really does help over here. Thank you so much. If you're still looking at foundation sticks, check out this foundation stick roundup. Have fun with it. Thanks again for watching and I will see you right back here real soon.